Italian director Paolo Sorrentino has earned himself the status of an auteur. He tends to focus thematically on the quest to find meaning in life, and by looking at the stylistic choices he makes in his three films, The Consequences of Love, The Great Beauty, and Youth, we can see how he depicts the search for meaning. The Consequences of Love tells of a bored, lonely man named Tita, trapped in a hotel as a result of being a middleman for the Mafia. Most of the film takes place here, and we are stuck alongside him. Tita is also stuck in a routine, to the point where he sits at the same table in the hotel cafe every day, and does heroin at the same time exactly once a week. Sorrentino uses cross-cutting to show Tita's boring life compared to the more exciting Mafia lifestyle. Towards the end of the film, he waits for his bosses in yet another hotel room, silent, while the camera cuts to cars arriving. There is a contrast of noise and silence here. It makes simple shots of cars parking become exciting in comparison to Tita's life. The Great Beauty shows a lonely man named Jep in a world of excess coming to terms with his age. We are shown the grotesque parts of Rome in a meaningless existence through scenes of parties and pretentious art displays. Oftentimes, interior design in the film is used to emphasize Jep's loneliness. In the scene where his lover Ramona tries on dresses for a funeral, we are shown a large, cold and empty room made out of marble, showing the lonely side of an aristocratic lifestyle. We watch Jep become emotional as he comes to terms with his age throughout the film. At one point, he visits a man's art display consisting of photos from every single day of his life, showing the process of aging. Jep had one successful piece of writing before giving up and is afraid of dying without having lived a meaningful life. Youth is similar to The Great Beauty in that it tells of a bored, rich man who had a successful piece of writing, in this case a musical composition, but gave up. Sorrentino displays Fred's desire to go back to composing and conducting in the scene where Fred pretends to conduct a herd of cows swinging their bells. Deep down, he wants to return to his passion and live a meaningful life once again. Staying at the same hotel as Fred, a child practicing his compositions, simple songs, can be heard multiple times throughout the film. This serves as a constant reminder of his more meaningful past. In all three films, the protagonists are successful in finding the meaning in life. In The Consequences of Love, Tita falls in love with Sophia, the hotel cafe's waitress. He describes talking to her as being the most dangerous thing he's ever done. This is because doing so breaks his routine. He even does heroin outside of his once a week usage. Falling in love with Sophia leads to Tita's death as he ends up defying the mafia, but he succeeds. He breaks free of his meaningless existence, defeating the hold that the mafia has over him, even though this results in his death. Tita's meaningless habitual lifestyle is shown to be more deadly than his non-habitual one that leads to his physical death. In The Great Beauty, Jep's friend Romano is a representation of hope. He is our connection to Jep, a character that lives a lifestyle that most of us cannot relate to. Unlike Jep, Romano still writes. He lives in a modest home and is mocked for these things. He doesn't fit in to the meaningless, grotesque lifestyle, and he leaves Rome as a result. Romano is what Jep wants to be. When Jep travels to the island where he met his first lover at the end of the film, he is filled with hope once again, ready to write. He achieves becoming like Romano. The great beauty he was looking for was the woman from his past that he's been trying to erase from his memory. At the end of youth, Fred decides to visit his sick wife for the first time in a long time, and finally conducts once more. After seeing Mick commit suicide because of his failed film production, he sees an opportunity to finally add meaning to his life as he grows old. He doesn't want to waste what time he has left anymore. The last scene in which Fred conducts his simple songs for the Queen is an expression of hope as it visually parallels the earlier scene where he conducts the herd of cows. This is one of many instances of hope that meaning in life can be found in Sorrentino's filmography. I feel